How many people are questioning whether or not you're smart enough for medical school? Yeah, welcome to the club. But guess what? I guarantee you that you're all smart enough. You don't have to be smart to do well in medical school. You just have to work really, really, really hard. There's nothing magical about learning medicine. It's just a lot of information. So get that doubt out of your head, because I guarantee you, you're smart enough. No matter where you are in this process, no matter what you've had to overcome in this process, that you can do it, that you can become a physician. You can do it if you want to. That being a doctor is too stressful. So the constant worry of other people's well-being is in your hands, right? Oh my God, if I screw up, they're gonna die. That sucks. That doesn't go away, <laughs> right? There's, there's this, this thought, this uh, imposter syndrome, right? Like I shouldn't be here. I'm not good enough to be here. That doesn't go away either. Sorry. But you, get, you do better dealing with it because you know you should be there. Right? The first time you get an email in your inbox going, congratulations, we want to invite you for an interview. You go, woohoo, I get an interview. Wait, is that for me? But then you get that interview invite, you're there, and you show up on interview day, you're, and you, you look at everyone else going, oh my God, they look so much smarter than I do. They're dressed so much nicer, I, I shouldn't be here. I don't think I should be here. And then you show up your first day of medical school and you're like, oh my God, all these people are brilliant. I shouldn't be here. And you show up your first day of internship, oh my God, I, I'm not smart enough to take care of patients, I'm gonna kill them all. It never ends. But it's an amazing career and you have so much impact on people's lives. How many of you have been told that you should have a plan B? Have a plan B, you got to see in orgo, you got to see in chemistry, there's no way you can get into medical school. You should start thinking about a different thing. How many people have been told that? How many women in here have been told, why do you want to be a doctor? It's so much work, you don't have time to have a family, just go be a nurse. Yeah. Don't listen to those stupid people. Don't, don't let anyone else's considerations about you and your journey stop you. If this is what you want, do it. So I acknowledge you all for being here wanting to go down this path, even knowing, right? Knowing that there's a lot of physician burnout, knowing that it's hard, knowing that every step of the way you're questioning yourself, you're doubting yourself. It's so much easier to go to your plan B. And I encourage you not to have a plan B because with that, pan with that plan B hanging out there, you are more distracted not going to your plan A. And so you're only proving to yourself by having a plan B that you can't get your plan A. So all of your plan B's should be continuing to support plan A. Obviously everyone's life situation is different. You have to feed a family, you have to put a roof over your head, you have to pay your bills, whatever it is, do that. All in support of plan A. If you continue to go through this journey and it's what you want, even if you fail a class, even if you bomb the MCAT, welcome to the club, even if you get rejected from medical school the first time you apply, if this is what you want, then do it. It's a long journey. And one year or two years at this point in your journey, in the grand scheme of things, has zero implications for your career as a physician. But being a physician is an amazing career if you want to do it.